In this video, our goal is to intuitively understand the expansion of A plus B cubed through a geometric interpretation rather than memorizing it. How are we going to do this? Look, you can see here that one edge of this cube is made up of two different lengths. Let's call the longer one A and the shorter one B. So one edge of the cube here is now A plus B. Now if I want to find the volume of this cube, all I have to do is multiply these edges together. That means a plus b to the power of 3, or in other words, the cube of a plus b. The cube of a plus b will give me the volume of the cube. I can also find this in a different way. I can calculate the volumes of the small pieces that make up the volume of the cube here one by one, and when I add them up, I can find the volume of the cube. Now, that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's start with the red cube here. Since one edge of the red cube here is a, I multiply them together. A times a times a, that makes a cubed. Now let's calculate the volume of the yellow piece over here. This side will be A, and this side will also be A. Therefore, its volume will be A times A times B, which is A squared B. But something catches my attention. There are one, two, three of these yellow pieces here. So there will be three of these. Now, to calculate the volume of the green and blue pieces, I'll erase these and rotate our cube. We can rotate our cube here. This is also an opportunity for us to take a tour around our cube. Look, here we have a cube made up of A plus Bs. Let's rotate it like this. Now we've calculated this part. Now we'll calculate the volume of these green and blue sections on the back face and write them down here as well. We had called the long piece A and the short piece B, so let's write them here. Now let's calculate the volume of the green part here. I'm multiplying the edges together. A times B times B, that is AB squared. But if you look at the colors here, you can see there are three green pieces like this. So I write a three in front of this. And finally, I'll calculate the volume of this small blue cube here, the product of three b's, that is b cubed. So I've arrived at the expansion of a plus b cubed. Now, I used to know the expansion of a plus b cubed by heart. Now, I also know what it means geometrically. This means the following. If I ever forget the expansion of a plus b cubed, I can figure it out myself like this. If this helps us intuitively understand the expansion of a cube, then what will we do, for example, when we talk about a plus b to the power of 4? Because we can't grasp four dimensions with our intuition, can we? Let's discuss this in the comments.